the days we have Whether they turn out to be good or bad Hi everyone, I'm Helen from Ohio and if you hear noise beside me, it's just my son playing with his music he was in the other room, he heard me talking, he decided he needed to come in here and find out who mommy was talking to, I guess. He's 21 years old and he has autism. He's nonverbal, but the sweetest boy ever and the joy of my world. I have been a widow for about five years now, to, to tell you a little bit about me. I'm a Christian, which is the most important thing in my life. I'm a blogger um, and I'm trying to expand that now with this video and with more um, posting it's just a topic that I'm about to talk about. It's a, my blog is sincerelysapphire.com. I'm posting this video because I want to re reintroduce myself to my YouTube listeners and to my blog readers and those who know me on Facebook and my Facebook groups. Um, they're so important to me. I really want to make an emphasis on weight loss right now. Like I said, Christianity is the most important thing to me, but my health has really as a single mom, it's really come full force to me. My mobility has become impaired with bad knees, bad back, arthritis in my knees, spinal stenosis in my back. I had gastric bypass surgery about 20 years ago now. And um, I lost 157 pounds, but um, I gained about half of it back when I had my son. And I've lost lost it again with Weight Watchers. I used WeightWatchers.com for the the tools, but I also had support groups with you two with um, what was it then? Anyway, support groups online, and I'm still staying in touch with some of them now. But we all were losing weight together, and that was a, a great support. I would um, I'd like to build a, a weight loss community on my video platforms, YouTube. I I just joined TikTok. I didn't join it for a long time for a lot of reasons and I joined it just to be able to see videos that people sent me and the more I explored there I found so many of you wonderful supportive people who are facing this journey also so I decided to become active on TikTok as a result. This past about four years ago I was diagnosed with an underactive thyroid and over the last four years my, my level of medication has been adjusted here and there at a lower dose and a little higher than a little higher and um it really it re really became completely obvious that something needed to change with the thyroid medication first and because i tried to lose weight in january february march and april and i lost a whole eight pounds <laughs> so when i had a physical with my doctor i asked her I said, I'm trying really hard to lose weight and nothing is happening. Can you please help me try to figure out what's going on? Because I know um, an underactive thyroid, it won't make you gain weight, but it will definitely make it hard to lose weight. Is there anything I can do? So she referred me to the weight loss clinic at Akron General Hospital. So my appointment there turned out to be with the doctor who used to be my primary care doctor before my current doctor. So she was already familiar with me, with my story and everything. So that's been really cool. So um, the appointment started out with her telling me, you know, things like um, I'd have to be careful about protein and um, fiber. And she started telling me about uh, how the gut was involved. And I had done research about leaky gut syndrome with my son, with the autism and everything, but I didn't really know it had anything to do with uh, weight loss. And because my gut is totally different since I had the, uh, the gastric bypass surgery, I, I just never thought to look it up or did not to do any research about it. So then I thought, was this all, you know, she's just going to tell me advice about what to do and not really, because I had to tick a box and I, cho I, I didn't want to choose weight loss surgery options because I'd already had it. So I chose non weight loss surgery options. So that introduced me to the injectable medications. So when she asked me, have you tried any injectable medications for weight loss? I said, well, I had a friend years ago who was on Fenfen and she developed a really bad heart condition and she struggled with it for years and she passed away a few years ago. In fact, she sang at my husband's funeral. And I'm so I'm really cautious about that. I'm nervous about it. 
But the more she explained it, the more research I did about it, and the gut and everything, it just, it, the hormones in your gut and everything, it just makes a lot of sense. So I thought, okay, well, let's give it a shot. I, I, staying at the weight I am and the mobility I'm now is not improving my health as it is. So this, you know, let's hope this works. <laughs> let's hope it improves things. So um, I started on 2.5 milligrams. And normally you're on there for like a, a month and then they raise you to a higher dose. But I wound up being on it for seven weeks because of the shortages. They have back orders and, but, um, so I was on it for seven weeks, like I said. And then I was raised to the five milligrams. Three, I, I've been on it for three weeks now. I have one last vial of it in the refrigerator. And so I'm wondering if she's got to raise me to a higher dose next time because I've heard I heard that, um, I read it, I saw a video that showed that to the 2.5 milligrams and the 5 milligram doses are really to accumulate your, acclimate your body to uh, make sure it was going to be able to handle the medication. And I've been doing well so far. My only, um, side effects, is to, I had a few days of diarrhea and that totally went away the first week. And since then it's been the opposite side of the spectrum. I'll just leave it at that. Enough said. <laughs> but I just started drinking some um, I started adding some greens powder to my protein shakes and that's all settled now. That's, that's just fine. <laughs> so those are the only problems I've been having other than, well, I did just have like two weeks of a, a four pound gain, not knowing where that came from and being frustrated because I had a hard time getting it off. And I finally, yesterday on the scale, it showed that that's finally gone. <laughs> Thank God. So now I'm hoping everything here is, is downhill from here, weight loss wise. Um, so I'm here for to, to meet all of you and to get um, to learn about your story. And I'd really love to connect with some of you who have had gastric bypass surgery and then later on went on Maduro. I haven't been able to find much information about the two of those together to find out how that goes because it's all about your gut. Get my gastric bypass. I had to ruin why gastric bypass so my stomach is totally different than anybody else's so I'm not sure how you know how all that works out and also if I drink a protein shake it makes me full I mean I'm full all the time anyway but it really fills me up because of my stomach is so small so then I'm not eating the rest of the day like I should so I'm trying to find a balance with that but I really want to get to know some of you more and I really want to be able to pay it forward to those who come behind me so that's a uh, that's where I'm at right now, and I look forward to being a part of the community. God bless you. Thanks. Bye.